Hey guys, so today I am going to be looking at and doing my nails with stuff from AliExpress. A little while ago, maybe two months, I went on there and I kind of went crazy because I saw so many cute charms. And you guys know how into the charms I am right now, the big chunky ones. So um, I have this bag, it's pretty large. I also have this bag, uh, don't remember what's in them at all. And I love unboxing stuff that I don't remember that I purchased. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so chomp, 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 and oh, there's, okay, and then in here is a bunch of little packages. I was like, I don't think I remember what I got, but I know that I got a lot. So I was confused when there was like two bags. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, I do not remember ordering these. Okay, so these are straight square dual forms. Long Hair Pretty Nails just did like a video with this sort of style of form. I don't remember if I ordered this before or after, but you guys know me, I see like a straight tip or form and I buy. So cool. I'm really excited about those. <laughs> so looks like I got some more tips. Okay, so these ones look similar to the new McCart ones, um, the like XXL coffin tips. I can pretty much say with confidence that these will be cheaper, but do keep in mind that this took like two months <laughs> to get to me. Okay, let's see what's in here. <gasps> oh my God, I knew, okay, I knew, like I said, I knew that I bought a bunch of little cute charms. These are little bunnies and bears, how cute, I love them. Let's see what else we got. What are these? <gasps> Pink bunnies and like purple bears. These are so cute. They look so nice too. Like, love them. They look like glass. <gasps> oh, okay. I was really confused for a second. These are like little puff balls that have magnets on them. So if you want to wash your hands and you of course don't want to get it wet, you can take the puff ball off and you still have like a magnet. You can just pop it on after. How cute. I'm so glad I got these. Any more? Oh, there is a purple one. 10 out of 10. And of course, as usual, I will do a set at the end of this because I can't get all of this up and not put it on my nails immediately. Okay. <gasps> so it did have a little bit of an explosion. It's what it is. Look at these, these are so cute. It looks like there's like 3D butterflies, some popsicles, just some hearts, some bows, some flowers. These are cool. A rose, like, and then it looks like there are some bigger and smaller, different little, what are they, femo? Femo? Femo pieces? I think that's how you pronounce it, but how cute is this? It's probably pretty obvious that in my life right now, I only want cute things. <gasps> God, little strawberries. I'm like amazed as if I didn't order these myself. It's just been so long. And it was probably like late at night. <laughs> but these are so cute, these little strawberries. Okay, so this is the last one out of that first bag. Look at these. Did I get these for my nails? Did I get them for other things? I don't remember to be honest, but I will put these on my nails. These, I love these. So for a long time, I had just seen this flower and I would search like 90s flower, but it's actually from an artist unnamed Takashi Murakami. I hope that I'm saying that right. I will try to find a, like an article or something down below about them and make sure I leave that in the description. But yeah, like if you're loving these flowers, I do recommend looking at the artist's sort of like reasoning for creating it. Okay. Oh God. Now, so a couple of these are open because sometimes my husband opens them and he doesn't realize they're like for a video. Um, so I got these. They're basically like the powders that you always see me put on, like the hollow powder or the shiny powder, or the chrome powder, except these are just like sort of different. I think they're just sparkly. I'll have to see. I wanna use these for sure. So I'll have to see how they look once they're on a nail. Okay, so this powder looks like an iridescent powder. You can sort of like see the reflection. Oh, like right there. You can see like the purple coming off. So another powder. <gasps> Ooh, stickers. Okay, so you guys know how much I love Hello Kitty. So of course I got some Hello Kitty stickers. 
Okay, there's actually a ton in here, so let's just go through them. These first ones, just some cute plaid Hello Kitty, then just some like pink Hello Kitties and bunnies. Classic Hello Kitty, but I love like the little moon down here. I'm sad that there's only one of them on this. Then on this one, we have some My Melody, Kuromi, and Little Twin Stars. Got some more of these flowers, some Powerpuff Girls, more Powerpuff Girls, Sailor Moon, more Hello Kitty, and more Hello Kitty. So here's these, oh, these are charms. Look at how cool these are. They're like little bears and they're charms. And they even look like they're a little bit curved so that they will fit on your nail much better. Really love these, these are so cute. Then we have this one with like a little vintage pendant. And then just some other very pretty. These are really, really sparkly. Like, wow, um, rhinestones. Okay, this is just a roll of the flowers, which I wanted for when I ship out giveaway stuff so I can just like make it cute. <laughs> oh, ooh, more stickers. Oops, I almost cut through the bottom. <laughs> these are cute though. They're like neon sign looking ones. I think these are so cute. Don't know what this is. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so that had two packages in it. Oh God, okay. So, oh, we have more stickers. So we have some more Sailor Moon ones. Apparently I ordered two Sailor Moon ones. And then, <laughs> apparently I ordered just a lot of Sailor Moon stickers. I don't remember doing that, but it's fine with me. Okay, then I got these really cute, really unique. I've never seen ones like these before. Some butterfly stickers. Oh my gosh, some Corpse Bride ones. Oh, love these. I'll have to probably save these for around Halloween, but like these are cool. You're gonna be shocked. It's more stickers. No, it's not. Just kidding. Just kidding. Look at these are like little hollow strands. And then I also got some pink ones and then some iridescent ones. How pretty are these? I will 100% do that. Like imagine just a whole nail of these. I think they're gonna look really cool. Okay, this is one of the ones that my husband opened, but I got a jelly poly gel, a cat's eye poly gel. I've been wanting to use some cat's eye poly gel because I have cat's eye gel polishes, but I've never used like a poly gel. I don't know how exactly that works with the magnet, but we go find out. And then one more cat's eye poly gel. I think I'll probably use this one. This one's really pretty. Is that it? Okay, so that is it for the AliExpress stuff, but I got something else. I think it's glitter from Dumb Blonde Cosmetics. And I know you guys love looking at those and so do I. So I just, let's go through them because these ones are new ones from her. Okay, so we have six. Let's open these up. So this one's Dirty 30. Oh, it's so fun. So it looks like we got flamingos. Is that all that's in there opposed to some? Okay, no, flamingos and palm trees as well as like some other just like little circle glitter, but so cute. Love the palm trees. This one is called Camden. Ooh. So this one looks like a bunch of stars, some Mickey Mouses, some little hearts with the little cutouts in them. Really cute. Don't take a drink for how many times I say cute because you will die. Barcelona. Okay, a bunch of thick hearts and smiley faces. I believe that's all that's in there. Love the little smiley faces. We got Rome. <gasps> this one's cute. I love those little heart pieces. I may have to use some of those today. Here we have Amsterdam. Okay, this one has such cute flowers too. Look at those big ones. I don't think I've ever seen those like giant sunflowery looking ones. Those are so cute. Oh, and and there's butterflies in here. And last but not least, Ibiza. What are those puzzle pieces? Puzzle pieces and like pink peppermints. Okay, and then I had to pull these out because they're little aliens. But there is just a ton in this one. I love the little pink peppermints and the puzzle pieces. I think those are so cool. And then there's like some, this is so interesting. Okay, then there's these unicorns that almost maybe looked like it was a sheet of flowers that got printed out on it. This one's really cool. I love this one. So colorful. Don't you wish you could just like stick glitter on like everything and not have the glitter texture? I 
I do. Alrighty, so uh, obviously I got a ton of stuff today. I'm going to do a set now and we're gonna make it as extra as possible because I got so many stickers, so many glitters. So let's get started. Okay, so here are my nails. This is how my natural nails look like right now, which actually, honestly, they're doing pretty well if you ask me. I did rip off my last set because they were just these press-ons and I'll show y'all how I decorated them with the Hello Kitty stickers right here. These I just put on for a few days because I was in between sets for filming and I'm just not capable of not having any nails on. But today I did already put my base coat on. This nail is still healing from when I ripped it off. So ignore that. This is my protective base coat that I put on my nails to try to keep them as healthy as possible in between sets. But I am going to lightly buff the shininess off of these. This is my new favorite buffing block. It's from Kira Sky and it is just, it's so small, but I don't know, it's just really good. I like how it's not like wasting a ton of space by being like this thick, you know? I'm not used to them being so small, but it works really well. I really like this one, totally recommend. Some of you were asking me if you needed to rough up your protective base coat before you put on a set and it can go either way. If you've just put it on, no, you don't need to. But if it's been a few days, I would recommend doing so just because at that point you've got like all kinds of oil and who knows what on them and so I just like to do that little bit of buffing to just help it adhere a little bit more alrighty and then I'm going to just wipe them down with some rubbing alcohol and let's start off with these tips and then I am going to use my McCart glue gotta make sure our nails are straight I have a hard time getting them straight when I'm filming because I'm trying to show the camera and I'm not really like showing myself Okay, so it seems like these ones have some pretty sharp little edges right here. So I'm just going to cut those off. They're a little long too for my taste. They go down a lot too on these edges. This is not my taste, so I'm just going to snip those off. And then on this broken one, I am going to just do it farther down. Like, of course I should let it like grow without anything on it, but um, I'm not gonna do that. But it has been growing out really well. Like I ripped half of it off basically. And now it's almost fully grown back, which is great. Alrighty, and now we have our tips on. So I think I wanna use these, plus I'll use a clear poly gel. Definitely these, these, perhaps a palm maybe a little bunny and these super blingy gems. I'll have to look at who I bought these from because these ones look absolutely amazing. Like they're so sparkly, more sparkly than ones I've seen in my opinion for not being Swarovski, Swarovski, whatever. And then finally, I really am curious about this silver color and how it will look, so maybe that. So that's what we're working with today. Okay, so for these tips, I'm actually just going to start off getting those tips and then I have this tip primer from a prey which a couple of you suggested that I use this as like a primer for my tips instead of filing them so that's what I'm gonna try today because honestly like the less dust that we create the better for sure and I will see if this makes them stay on the same less or more I usually never have the poly gel pop off of my tip if I have filed them. So they just need to be prepped in one way or another. There we go, chemically primed. And then as a base coat, I am going to just use one from McCart. I didn't get absolutely everything from AliExpress to do like a full set of nails. I mainly wanted to focus on like the poly gel itself and then some of the decorations. The decorations, what I was mainly interested in. So I am using, you know, just some other stuff to sort of move us along from other brands. Of course, I will leave everything linked below, including all the stuff that I got from AliExpress. And if the link isn't there, that's because it's not there anymore. Sometimes I'll run into that because the shipping it takes so long. So yeah, I'll link everything down below as usual. This also is my opposite hand. So if you're like, oh, you're looking a little shaky there. Um, that's, that's why. In my next video, I'm gonna like chit chat a bit. And I know I don't have the concentration to use my opposite hand and talk at the same time very well. So yeah. Already all cured. Okay, I'm excited. I know people like have used this, but I have never used a cat eye poly gel, only a gel. So I do have some tools right here for cat's eye stuff. They're magnets and it's supposed to push all the little like glitter magnetic pieces into a line or whatever shape you want. So I'm excited to try this. So let's just start on my thumb. 
I'm just going to heat up. Oh God. It's not really even that cold in here, is it? Yes, it is. Ooh. Okay, really quick. Look at this. You can sort of see that shift. Okay, let's just start there. I can see a lot. This almost looks like an oil slick. Like it goes from purple to green to blue. I hope that whenever I go in the sun, it'll truly show how pretty this is. This is such a beautiful poly gel. Maybe I will use the other paint and sort of ombre them. I think that would be really cool. Obviously I did not put enough of the poly gel for like a full long as heck nail. I'm just like dying to use the magnet and see what happens. Okay, so we have some sort of layer on there. All right, can we see? I have my camera flashlight on it. I'm trying to get like super close. Okay, let's see if we, if any of the like little things will move. I'm honestly not sure if they're moving, are they? I honestly don't know if they are because poly gel is so thick. Like I don't know how like these little pieces would move through it. I'm gonna Google really quick how to use this in case for some reason, like you're supposed to cure it or something, which I don't think that would be right. It does look like how I'm thinking. Okay, I'm gonna cure this really quick and then we can go from there. I want this set to be really extra, so I'm just going to use a couple of these glitters out of the Barcelona mix. So I'm just putting some base coat on once again, just so they can stick easier. I think they would kind of stick without it. Pretty. Then I'm just going to squeeze a tiny bit more of this cat's eye poly gel and put a little bit of clear at the top so we can see our pretty glitters. This poly gel is a bit sticky, but honestly, when stuff usually has either a lot of pigment or glitter or just a bunch of other stuff in it, it usually is. So I'm not really surprised. It's not really that big of a deal. And then I'm just going to use this Clear from McCart. And here we have this nail that just needs to be filed now like the shape. I absolutely did forget to do the magnet thing with this, this layer of poly gel, but we'll try again. For this one, I think we should use these really cute flash strands. For this one, I'm gonna add a little bit more base gel. And let's stick these in. I don't want them to go all the way down and I will cut off the rest and reuse that. Perfect, I think. I'm gonna just give that a quick cure. Okay, now that we're done with that, I think that looks so pretty. I'm gonna do this more pink-ish poly gel, same cat's eye, and I think this one will look really good as an ombre. Okay, so here's how it looks right now. I'm really gonna just try, I don't know if maybe I can't see it because of the camera or something, but I just feel like it's not working for me with the cat's eye. Granted, you could also say that I may not be very good at cat's eye in general though, but I just feel like I don't see any of the sparkles going any one way. But whenever I use gel, I can at least like see where it's going. I just don't feel like this is going anywhere. I almost feel like I can feel the slight, like, slight magnetic force with this, which is kind of cool. You know what? The true test will be when we go outside to look at these, because I think it's the studio lights that you can't really see well with it. I think I'm just gonna have to like trust the process with this. Honestly, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Hopefully at some point that's like a nice like curved line. I don't know. And then once again, I'm just gonna do a nice little clear coat here, fill in some spaces. Once again, this glitter, except I'm gonna put it down here now. Okay, 
Okay, great. Now I'm gonna try this. It's the same brand, Rosalind, but this one is a jelly one. So I'm gonna put that one on this finger. I'm definitely going, you can tell, with like a purple pink theme today. But hopefully these are a bit different than I normally do. I usually am not as specific with the glitter and stuff like that. I definitely am someone who a lot of the time just bunches on the glitter, but whenever I see someone that has like specifically placed the chunky glitters, I feel like it looks so much cleaner and nicer. So let me know. Ooh, whoa, I was not expecting that. Look at this, so pink. This one's a lot softer too. Well, I'm hoping this one is substantially easier to move around because the other ones were just a bit sticky and sort of hard. Okay, so this specific jelly poly gel from this brand is so soft, I would say almost too soft to where like if you barely touch it, it moves and that can be sort of difficult. I do wish it was slightly stiffer, but nonetheless, if you like soft poly gels, this one's for you. I've never seen like cat eye poly gel swirled before, so why not? <laughs> Look how much I can see where I'm tapping my finger. But this one honestly looks so cool. Here is me not forgetting to do the magnet on it. With this last nail, I'm just going to try to take any little leftover bits like these and just place them. I kind of want them horizontally. Or not, they don't want to be horizontal, so we're not going to make them. That strand of holographic stuff has made itself a bristle in this brush. Can you guys see that? And then let's just do maybe just some tiny glitter. And then this one's going to get a little bit of clear at the top here, just a little. And some of this pink again. Ooh, ah, she's dripping, 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 dripping. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to just wipe all of these off and we'll get to filing. All right, I'm gonna be using my McCart Stephanie drill. I think this one is finally back in stock. This is the one I recommend if you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a e-file. This one's really, really good. And it's been out of stock for a while, but I think it's finally back. The only thing I wish was that you could see the screen a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna be careful and I'm gonna first just do around my cuticles. I mainly wanted to do my cuticles and then the rest I'm going to just hand file. I feel like hand filing today. So I ordered some of these files the other day from Kira Sky. I think I've used like 100 and then 180 grit, but this one's just an 80 grit. The lower the number, the more coarse the file is and the higher the number, the finer the file is. So an 80 will really cut through and debulk a lot quicker than saying 180. 180 is more to like finish off, make it a bit smoother. So I'm gonna try this 80 one. I think I've used like one or two before, but I really like the Kira Scales. They're really, really sturdy. So a good way to check your nails is to look at your C-curve. You can see that it's smooth and even all the way down. This one is also, but then if you look at other ones that aren't filed yet, this one is not. So that's how I usually double check. So if it looks good from the top, it could still be sort of uneven on some sides. So yeah, do look like up directly at it. That helps a lot. Okay, so now we've done the majority of the filing. I'm gonna use the same buffing block from earlier and make all these a little bit smoother. One more alcohol wipe. Ooh, so much prettier. Wow. Next up, these stickers. I felt like they matched really, really well. Okay, even though I, they're not gonna be exact same, I'm gonna put this half on this side and a half on this side. 
cute, cute. I really want to try these powders next. So let's just top coat this one right off the bat. So pretty, that clear is so clear. Okay, so I think I might just try this pink one. The nice thing about powders is if you don't like it, you can just wipe it off, you know? So I wanna try, I think the pink, I think the pink will go with the rest of the theme with the cat eye stuff and everything like that. Okay, so let's get some. Definitely, I don't think hollow because I don't see any like rainbow reflection in it. I mean, that looks okay. Okay, so I do like how that looks a lot. So I'm gonna do the same to this nail. Okay, let's do this one now. I just like doing like the little ombre with it. Okay, so those are those far. Okay, which color puff should I use? I wish I could do like a real time thing. Okay, um. You know what, there's not as much purple in this as there is sort of like, this might be sort of pink, but I just, I, I think the gray's gonna go better. Oh wait, how many come in here, two? Cool, two come in here, okay. Let's actually clear coat everything before we do any of that. Okay, wait, look how pretty, ready? Wow. And then with a clear nail, like to also top coat the underside and that just makes it extra clear. Okay, now to put these into cure. Okay, so honestly, I absolutely love how they look just right now as is, but I just wanna add a little bit of something. So I opened up the puffs and there's, there's actually four in there. They're like all tiny ones and it's kind of hard to separate. Oh, there we go. So it's four of them. Oh, wait, five? Five. <laughs> I feel like they keep coming. So this is a really cool option. I don't know if I want to like cover up this stuff though. So I don't know about that. So I started looking through this giant thing because there's just so much in here. Like it is so cool. And let me pull out some of them to show you guys because I definitely did not do this justice when I showed you guys the first time because I didn't look through everything. But like, look at this. I was like, that's kind of weird. What is it? Look at how beautiful this little flower decal is. It's like, look at that cute. Then like there's these little hearts, this butterfly. I may want to use this little stone. Okay, look at this flower decal. I have to use it on this set for sure. Love that one. This one is interesting. <laughs> Look at this interesting looking bow. I love this little circle thing cause I love like the randomness of the prints on the items, like a little bow made of a flower pin. It's so like intricate and like random. I love it. I'm like, what is this? Are these supposed to be cherries? I hope so. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna put a poof on here. If you have both hands with long nails, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. All right, so I'm going to put it sort of low. I'm just going to ever so slightly like rough up the little itty bitty area where I'm gonna put it. Listen, I am not taking any chances with this getting lost. Mm -mm, no way. I'm gonna use a good glob of this rhinestone glue from McCart. It's right here. Okay, so then I'm just going to squish that in there. If you want to smooth out the edges, I totally can. I am going to just so when I don't have it on, it doesn't look like, ooh. That's better. Now let's cure that. Alrighty, and then I'm just going to put like the smallest amount of top coat around it, not on top, because otherwise you're gonna have some issues. It won't go, or it won't magnetize, whatever. You guys know what I mean. Okay, moment of truth. No, I did it wrong. It doesn't want to stick. I wonder if I can do that with, I'll find another one that does want to. Uh-oh, oh, okay, this one sticks. Whew. Crisis averted. Yay, now I have a little palm. Cute, fun, fresh. And I want to put this on maybe like my middle finger right here, like that. I don't know if I can use this one, but I really want to. I think it would look better like up here, but I don't want to cover any of the design. Maybe another puff. Okay, I've decided I'm gonna actually put another puff on. I feel like just one puff is kind of weird. You know what I mean? Like if I don't have anything like chunky on everything else. So I really tried this time to make sure that this will be correct. Okay, you'll still be able to see the stickers on this one. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Did I do it right? Okay, I did. Whew. Okay, these puffs like need to 
chill out because they were all crushed in a thing for so long. But I, okay, you know what? I like them. You probably don't like the puffs, so that's fine. I like the puffs. But here's the nails. Let's go outside so I can show you guys the final result. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to give this a like if you like when I do these videos. I can definitely buy more stuff just to show you guys. I do not mind. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye! Okay, so I just have a couple things to say about this set. The magnets actually come off super, super easily, so I can't really wear them that much, which really sucks because that was like the highlight of this set. And I didn't have a day where it was like full sunshine, so um, so unfortunately we can't really see the cat eye effect. And, on and honestly, I think the poly gel was too thick for the cat's eye to make that effect. So yeah.